Hi, I'm JP and today I'm going to do a full body strength workout with some intense rowing. It's going to take 20 minutes. I would love for you to join me. All you're going to need is a rowing machine and a space on the floor. Let's do this. Okay, plan for today. We'll go through about a five minute warm up. Then we'll go through 20 minutes of full body work off the machine and on the machine. I'll talk you through that as we go. Let's start our warm up then at the back of our stroke. We're gonna reach our arms out, reach our body over and just bend our knees. We're gonna take three strokes like this. There's one, there's two and there's three. And on this stroke, we'll flow all the way forward and take a normal stroke back to the start. One, two, three, and a normal full stroke. Let's keep that same sequence going. Now, the great thing about a warm up is that as we're getting our body warm, it's a perfect time to think about technique, moving well, and learning the sequence of rowing. As we go through this, I might take four strokes, I might take two strokes. I'll try to stick to three. So don't worry if we get out of sync. The basic idea is that we're mixing a few short strokes with a long stroke. And in the short strokes, we're focusing on opening the hips, then bending the arms. Open the hips, then bend the arms. And on our long stroke, it's that patient leg drive. So our weight is forward, we slide, we push back, all without changing our body angle. Body angle stays the same as we slide in and slide out. It's that patience that allows us to accelerate the handle into our chest. There. Really trying to accelerate into the chest every stroke. And that's why we do the sequence we do. The legs are super strong but they're relatively slow. Our hips are not quite as strong, but they're quite fast. So that balance between speed and strength equals power. They're very powerful. Our arms are very weak, but very fast. So at the start of the stroke, when the fan is at its slowest, we use the slow, strong muscles, those legs, to take the load. Then, as the fan starts to speed up, we use those faster muscles, the hips, those powerful muscles, to increase the fan even faster. And then, when it's moving at its fastest, we finish that stroke as long as we can, length with the arms. Okay, I've waffled on enough. <laughs> we're gonna just do normal rowing. And as we do, we're gonna talk about today's session. So we've got 20 minutes of work and we're gonna be alternating between two minutes of work on the rowing machine and two minutes of work on the floor. Our goal at the end of the 20 minutes is to have rowed as far as possible. So normally I would tell you what rate to row, but today it's a little bit fluid. If you're more comfortable rowing at a higher rate, you go for it. If you're more comfortable at a low rate, you go for that too. I'm probably gonna go somewhere in the middle about 24 to 26. We'll see how that goes. On the floor then, we're gonna work through a sequence called slips. Now, slips is scales, elsets, inversions, planks, and stretching. 
you don't need to worry about that. I'll talk you through every step of the way, what we're gonna do, and as we're doing it then, I'll talk you through why it's beneficial to do that. The format of slips we can do any number of ways. We could, if we didn't have rowing, we could do like four minutes of each of those things. Equally, each of our movement scales, L sits and versions, planks and stretching, there is an almost infinite number of ways we can do those. So a very versatile session. We might do another version of this down the road, but for today, two minutes on the machine, two minutes off. Okay, next stroke, handle down. Lovely. Now, if you're like me and you forgot to set your watch, now is a good time to do so. Can't possibly miss out on any calories to be had. <laughs> so, menu. Whew, heart rate's up there. Select workout. New workout. Intervals. Intervals time. And then two minutes of work. I'm gonna have the rest time as two minutes as well. Lovely. Now we've got that set. Press the tick button and just double check that your machine is recording in meters. If it's not, cycle through the units button to go through average per 500 watts calories until you get to meters again. Okay? All right. I'm gonna strap in for this. I'd suggest you do too, especially if your rate's going over about 24. That'll help you get through this. Whew. Okay, first interval. Grab the handle, tension, and row. Nice, so bear in mind, we've got five of these two minute intervals. So you don't want to go too fast too soon, but we don't want to go slow at the start and then have to try and make up for lost time at the end. It's a tricky balance to strike. Now I'm also gonna try and not work so hard that I can't talk you through our slips. Now I'm going at about 22 to 24 here, a wee bit lower than I thought but it actually feels quite rhythmical. It feels quite strong. And since rowing is so much about rhythm, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm just gonna let it happen. That nice flow. Focusing on getting the weight in front of our seat there and then slide. Weight in front of the seat and then slide. It's gonna give you a much more powerful stroke like we talked about in the warm-up. Okay, 30 seconds, gang. And then we go into our scales. Okay, 20 seconds of work. Nice, 10 seconds, and then we go to the floor. Three, two, one, handle down. Okay, so skills. I'm gonna start off standing. Woo I'm gonna focus on standing on one foot. I'm gonna pick my left foot, my right foot goes in front. Keeping both legs locked out and straight. I'm gonna lift my right leg as far up as I can balance. I'm gonna do 10 controlled reps here. Great for your balance, this. Super challenging for your feet, for your leg strength, for your hips. I've done 10, I'll swap over. I'll do the same on this other leg. And it's tempting as we lift higher to bend 
the legs, but we want to keep them both straight. We're not trying to flail our leg up, we're trying to control it. So we build that strength. Eight, nine, ten. Exactly the same, but in reverse. Standing on one leg. The other leg lifts up. Way. Wrecking the place here. So our body here will tilt over a little bit. That's okay. I'm keeping an eye on the time. I won't change legs. Just enough to match it on this side. Again, both legs are straight. If you're finding you're wobbling all over the show, try and grip those toes into the floor and try to feel your hip supporting your pelvis. Last one. Okay, very quick onto the machine. Three, two, one, off we go. Oh dear, I missed that one. I missed that one. Okay. So we're into our two minutes of work here, picking up where we left off. At the end of the session today, we can go into the memory on the screen and see a total for our machine work. So it's gonna be a 10 minute total, giving us an average for that 10 minutes. Okay. When you find your rhythm, just stick to it. Don't try and force it, but focus on squeezing through your stroke. We're forming a nice, strong core position, pushing our legs through your core. Push the legs through your core, and then swing through. Going well, we've got 40 seconds, and then we go on to our L sits. Great core exercise. Thirty seconds. So those skills, fantastic for our pelvic strength, our core strength, our balance, our overall coordination. These L sits are going to be challenging for those same areas, your hips, your core, your legs, your balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, onto the floor on our bums this time. Gonna pull your knees up, almost like you're giving them a hug. And from there, we can set our hands on the floor beside our legs and lift those feet up. Now, this position, you might feel your hips working a little bit. That's good. From there, I'm gonna straighten one leg out, straighten the other leg out. Notice, knees stay touching. We're not letting them drift apart. Let's do that again. Straighten one leg, straighten the other. As we go here, you might feel those hamstrings holding you back a little bit. It's totally normal. Okay. Set the legs out. Shake them out a little bit. Slightly harder. Same basic position. But both legs at the same time. Again, tempting here to lean back with your body. But we want to curl your body in on itself. And that's where having your fingers on the floor can really help. Hips are starting to scream a little bit here. We're hopefully going to feel these muscles when we get back on the rower. Because they're the same muscles we should use when we're rowing. Another 10 seconds. Ooh, hips are working hard. 
pointing the toes, pointing them away from your body. Okay, back in the rower, third interval. Oh, my hips, <laughs> three, two, one, here we go. Nice, you're gonna feel those hips the most here at the finish of the stroke because they're supporting our core, keeping that nice strong finish position. Okay, going well. This is the middle interval. The fatigue is getting real at this point. But we're gonna try and keep pushing through. Keep working those legs, then hips. Legs, then hips. Okay, one minute to go. Then we go to inversions. Nice, 40 seconds here. Hold your pace. Leaving those shoulders out long. Let the legs do the work. Legs and hips. Twenty seconds. Ten. Going well. Three, two, one. Okay, inversions. Inversion is basically standing on your hands, hand balancing. I'm not gonna make you go upside down just yet. I'm gonna look at our hands on the floor. So I'm resting on my hunkers, my hands on the floor. I'm going to bring my shoulders over my hands and come back again. Weight over my hands and back again. I want you to pay attention to your fingers and your hands. Do they bow out to the side like that? Or can you push your index finger down and grip your fingers to your hands? We want to do the latter. Imagine your palm is like a suction cup and your fingers are turning into white tips. Okay, so we're gonna keep our shoulders over our hands here and go for a few little circles with the shoulders. And as we bring the weight around our hands, we wanna fight to keep those hands glued to the floor. Let's try the other direction. Now again, we spend a lot of time on our feet. And we don't, really do the same on our hands. This is a great way to start prepping ourselves for hand balancing down the line without the fear of up, going upside down. Ooh, okay, back in our seat. Five, handle, two, one, here we go. Interval number four. Now hand balancing is one of those things you might never do. But because we don't tend to load our hands and our upper body, it's very weak. But by loading it, we make it stronger. You think how much stronger your legs are than your upper body. Partly that is the size of the bones. And partly that's because we spend our lifetime loading our legs. Imagine if we spent that same lifetime loading our upper body. How strong would it be? Okay. Starting to pick that pace up a little bit. I'm going to increase my rate. I'm going to slide forward 
a little bit faster once I have my weight forward. Nice effort, gang. Got 50 seconds left. Got to keep that effort up. Fourth one, this is potentially your fastest. Keeping that rate high to help you. 30 seconds. Then we move on to our planks. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, we've done a lot of core. We've got time for a little bit more. First is our front plank. Let's go on our forearms. Three, two, one. Squeeze our feet together. Squeeze our bums. Belly button's pulled in. And shoulders spread as far apart as possible. We're trying to push that chest away from the floor. And keep our bum low, but squeezed. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Nice easy transfer to our side, top foot in front, and up we go, squeezing that tummy flat. Pulling that shoulder down to your hip, so we get the shoulder supported by the muscle. Shoulders here stacked, hips stacked, legs straight. Five, four, three, two, one, let's change sides. Same on the other side, top foot in front. Shoulder pulled to the hip. Hips up high, supporting that position. Shoulder stacked. Ooh. Tummy pulled in. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick finish. Hands behind, feet in front. Let's lift that chest up. Lock out your legs and pinch those shoulders together. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, quickly onto our machine then. Last interval. Three, two, one. Here we go. Big squeeze. Big squeeze. Nice. So, any energy you have left, let's put it into the machine now. We've got some stretches to do after this, and then that's us done. All that core work we've done so far, let's use it to remind our core to stay on as we push. Remember how our arms are fast, but they're weak. Leave them straight and long. Straight and long. Remember how big and powerful our legs are. Let's use them first. We have 60 seconds. Locking those legs out, holding your core strong. Keeping that sequence on the way forward. Arms, hips, then legs. Arms, hips, then legs. Another 25 seconds. Almost there.
tent. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, two stretches. The first is gonna be on our tummy. Woo. Feet together. And we'll go up on our elbows from here. Trying to pull the shoulders back and together. Lifting that chin as high as it goes. We've done a lot of flexion work of our spine. That's rounding forward. Here, we're rounding backwards. Opening up that spine, thoracic. Trying to pull our shoulders back and down towards the hips. Bum is squeezed, chin is lifted. Five, three, two, one. Okay, then on your bum, feet forward. We're gonna pull our toes back towards us here, keeping the legs locked. And you're gonna walk your hands as far forward as you can, trying to keep your spine tall rather than rounded over. Staying up tall. You're gonna feel out the back of the legs, back of the knees. Lifting that chest, pushing your belly button forward. As always, gang, very much enjoyed your company today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you need more help at home with your workouts, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. One last thing. Menu. Oh my goodness. Memory. List by date, and it will be the most recent one, magnifying glass. That is your distance for all five intervals. That is your average per 500 for the intervals and your average rate. Like and subscribe. Shoo.